Okay, let's uh, let's get down with this dude. Okay, this question I think would be more interesting if it was like this. Like, all right, guys, go. <laughs> What's a formula for this? Uh, but then you would hopefully come up with this and be like, okay, now it's some angle formula time. You guys ready for some angle formula time? Yeah. So to do this, we go sine 2x cosine x plus uh, sine x cosine 2x. Okay, so this is my uh, this is my strategy here. I want to try to make everything sine. Why? Because this is a formula for sine 3x. Now you can make different formulas, but I'm trying to make this as pretty as possible. So, do you guys know of another formula that I can sub this out for, um, so that I don't have a double angle right there? Yeah, it would yeah. be sine two sine x. <clears throat> I think it's, uh, isn't it cosine squared x minus sine squared x? Well, what, sine? No, no, that's not it. That's not it. It's, yeah, it's 2 sine x cosine x, right? And then we have to multiply this by cosine x. You guys good? So plus the other side, I have sine x. And what's another formula that I can replace this double angle for? 2 cosine x. Yeah, okay, now there's there's three different ones. There's cosine squared x minus sine squared x. And there's another one that says, I think it's 1 minus? Yeah, 1 minus 2 sine squared x. 1 minus 2 cosine squared x, right? No? It's 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And then what's the other one? It's a 2 cosine squared x plus 1. Is it minus 1? Yeah. Are you sure? <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Because the one has to change um, signs here. Okay, so which one of these do you guys want to use for the cosine two uh, x? Let's use the second one. That's a good idea. So I'm gonna write one minus two sine. Oh, it should be squared x, right? Yeah, there's supposed to be a squared right here. Okay, because these are squared, you can sub those out, and then you would find these ones. Okay. Like, uh, for example, if I were to sub this guy out, I would sub him out for 1 minus sine squared x. And then it says minus sine squared x. That's how you get this guy. That makes sense? So because of the Pythagorean identities, cosine 2x gets, like, three different identities. Okay, so now let's simplify this a little bit. And when I simplify that a little bit, we get 2 sine x cosine squared x plus... <clears throat> sine x minus 2 sine to the third x. Whoa. Did you guys catch all that? Are you following? Yeah, so I multiplied these cosines and I distributed the sine to both of those. Okay, is there anything else I can do that would um, simplify this? I don't know if this will work, but let's try it. Let's um let's take out a two sine x. I don't know. I don't know what this is gonna do. So if I take two sine x out, I get cosine squared x plus oh no, I can't do that because I can't take it a two sine x out of that one. Bummer. So let's try just taking out a sine. If I take out sine x, I get two cosine squared x um, plus one minus to sine squared x. Is that right? That's right, right? Uh, I still have no. I wouldn't have a sine on this one anymore. Yeah, I took out. I took out a sine x here, and I took out a sine x here, and I took out a sine x here. Where? Yeah, no, no, but it's two times sine. It's not. It's like two sine just means sine plus sine. It's two times sine. It's almost like if I had if I had two x y plus x, and I were to take an x out, then I would have two y still. The two is chilling there, and then I would have a one there. That's that's what that's like. Okay. All right. So that was side stuff. Okay. So I don't know. Can I make anything simpler here? It looks like. That looks like all I can do. All right. So we're gonna back up. 
because uh, I, I forgot my, my first um, strategy here is to have no, have only signs. So how can I rewrite this so that there's not a cosine here? Two sine times one minus sine squared x. Uh, well, I, I went back. I, like, I, I, I went back to this guy right here. Okay, so now I'm back. Uh, I have sine x here minus 2 sine to the third x. And then I have to distribute this. Oh, dang. 2, oops, I forgot my x. 2 sine x minus 2 sine squared x plus sine x minus 2 sine to the third x. Now we're going to add this guy and this guy together. So that's 3 sine x minus 2 sine squared x minus 2 sine to the third x. Stop acting like you saw that. I did. Okay, this is not supposed to be sine squared. It's supposed to be sine to the third. Dang it, I thought that. And then I was like, you did not think that. I did, I was like, I'm probably wrong, though. You guys, it would have yeah, been helpful. Like you stop acting like you saw that. <laughs> okay, we all saw that, yeah, especially like you, Christian. Okay, so <laughs> you thought I would say you were dumb? No. I am not violent. <laughs> Minus four sine to the third x. Okay, we did it. Yay. Okay, so if you guys had sine three x, you guys could use this formula. Don't memorize this. We were just practicing using the the sum of difference oh, so formulas. Just all that? Yeah. So I just combined it all. Now we're done.